Hey guys, Super Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about the future of the Bendy and the Ink Machine franchise, the next game from the Kindly Beast, which was formerly known as the Meatly Games. What is their secret project? When is it going to be revealed? When is it going to launch? We're going to talk about that, and we're also going to be showing all the news up to this point from midway through last year that's come out about their secretive new project. Recently, we've had some teasers and other information about what that next game may be, so I'm excited to talk to you about that today but this video is going to collect up all the news and all the information we have about these secret projects and perhaps future bendy games and put them all together into one video for you guys i'm going to analyze it all and give my own predictions at the end so strap in tight we'll begin at the start and go through all the news up to the present day it was September 15th, 2018, a month after the launch of Bendy's first mobile outing, Nightmare Run, when we heard a very important update from the Meatly Games' very own Meatly himself. That's quite a mouthful. In this video uploaded to his YouTube channel, the Meatly shared some exciting new updates, and these were not just Bendy related. While the Meatly did confirm more Bendy games would be coming down the road under the banner of Joey Drew Studios, well, I think it's time I made this perfectly clear. Chapter 5 is not the end for our little devil darling. I have so many things planned for him and all the Bendy cast under the banner of Joey Drew Studios. The more interesting news was that the team at the Meatly Games would now be known as Kindly Beast. What's more, it was confirmed that Kindly Beast were working on a number of projects, one of which they were very excited to share more news on. We're changing our name and getting a whole new look. From this day forth, the Meatly Games will now be called Kindly Beast. Kindly Beast already has some super awesome projects working right now, including one I can't wait to tell you about. At this time, we also saw a mysterious image appear at the bottom of the Kindly Beast webpage. It read, what the heck is this? And featured a silhouette of a small character holding a scythe-like object. Since then, a second character has also appeared, they resemble a cowboy at first glance, but it's hard to tell for sure. What do you think? Now after this news, of course things died down, we were moving towards the Bendy Chapter 5 release and I think everyone at Meatly Games, Kindly Beast and Joey Drew Studios were all working together to get that game out on time. And it did ship on PC but not on console when it was supposed to. The console release date was pushed back and when it did come out in November it had a number of bugs and issues that needed to be fixed. As well as this of course we had Bendy on mobile. So the team had a lot of stuff to work on making sure that Chapter 5 was everything it could be and pleased fans and making sure the console versions lived up to the PC original. And of course, of course, while they were doing this, they weren't really talking about this secret new project at all. All we had was this one image that had appeared on the website for the Kindly Beast, the character holding the scythe-like weapon. However, in uh, Bendy Chapter 5, there is a secret that you can unlock, and I've got a video on my channel showing you how to do this, where you can actually unlock the weapon from this teaser image to use in Bendy and the Ink Machine Chapter 5. You don't get to use it for long, you only get to play around with it for about 30 seconds till you dispatch all the enemies in the area, but it's a cool little easter egg and shows us exactly what we we might expect from how the weapon is used in the upcoming game. But it was at this time we started finally getting more information about future projects from the team. A number of tweets began to surface from Mike Mood, co-founder of the Meatly Games, or as we now know them, Kindly Beast. These tweets were survey based and seemed to be asking a variety of game design themed questions. Ranging from people's favourite aspects of horror games, to the kind of extras they most enjoy, to what interests a person most about story in a game. Characters, lore, mystery, or location. There were many of these surveys conducted by Mike over the period of a few weeks in late December into early January. I took part in several myself and couldn't help but imagine that these surveys were factoring in to the game or games being developed by Kindly Beast. It seemed at the very least they would be used to influence the team when designing their next major project. But it doesn't stop there. Just last week Mike Mood tweeted this. Got some big news y'all. Just gotta wait a few weeks to spill the beans. Enjoy the suspense. This tweet was shortly followed by a tweet from Immediately himself, which stoked the proverbial fire by saying, A mystery is building the faint whispers of a growing excitement. And most interesting about all of this information is that these tweets of a new announcement in a few weeks' time were posted on January 26th, almost exactly two weeks prior to the two-year anniversary of Bendy and the Ink Machine on February 10th. 
This is the date the game first launched as a free upload on Game Jolt in 2017. So what does all this mean? Well to me at least it means that on February 10th we're getting an announcement of either a new game or a new Bendy themed game or a new Bendy themed product. After all February 10th is the anniversary, the two year anniversary of Bendy and we do know that from the Amazon listing at least they are making a book similar to how Hello Neighbor and Five Nights at Freddy's released some books. They will be releasing a book about Joey Drew Studios for Bendy and the Ink Machine. So this announcement could be elaborating on what this book actually is. It has been up for pre-order but nobody really knows the contents exactly of the book barring a vague description on Amazon. And here's the image of uh, the Amazon listing guys for the Bendy and the Ink Machine employee handbook as it's called. I'll just read you the description quickly. It says, Welcome to Joey Drew Studios where your favourite characters come to life. In this employee handbook you'll find everything you need to rise to the top of the studio. Learn how to draw Bendy and Boris and study the storyboard art for our latest cartoons. Explore a map of our sprawling studio and learn how to operate our state of the art ink machine. And meet our staff who can teach you a trick or two to help you survive when things are looking grim. Don't miss this terrifying in-world guidebook, your key to unlocking the mysteries of Bendy and the Ink Machine. So it could be for the Bendy book, for sure. However, I do believe it is something not just Bendy related. We may well get an update on the Bendy book or even a update on future stuff for Bendy and the Ink Machine. Mike Mood has said there will not be a Bendy and the Ink Machine 2, however he has not said there will be no DLC for part 1, and I've speculated in the past that we may get some downloadable content for the base game to expand on certain characters and their backstories if the team so wish to do so. So we may get that as an announcement on February 10th, however the most likely scenario in my mind is is this mystery game they've been working on. The game we saw a teaser image for and the game that we got a secret weapon for in Bendy Chapter 5. Now what kind of game would this be? Well in my opinion it's going to be a small scale project. You might have remembered that before Bendy and the Ink Machine the Meatly actually did make a game called Meatly Makes and Meatly Makes was a sort of puzzle sort of action game. It was very simplistic. I'll show some footage now while I'm talking but it was basically just his art style in a game with some fun but simple mechanics that became quite challenging as it went on and it got some good reviews because it was simple and fun to play you know but this game was very simple now I don't think their next game is going to be as simple as Meatly makes but I do think it's going to be less ambitious than Bendy and the Ink Machine which was of course a project that took several years to make over the course of the five chapters and I think Kindly Beast has just come together as this team for the first time after forming throughout the production of Bendy and the Ink Machine and they want to perhaps make a game together as a team from the off, you know, everyone's starting at the same time there. So, what I think it will be is that this new mystery project will be a small project, perhaps a multiplayer game or a co-op game, uh, perhaps an arena based fight game or perhaps just a small adventure game, a few hours of gameplay and something that they can put together within the year. I do think this game will be announced on February 10th or around that time and I do think this game will launch in 2019 but second half of the year, so probably around October time if I'm honest, I would imagine and that was a good sort of time for them to launch it around a year after Bendy Chapter 5 came out. However, I don't know for sure, of course, I'm just speculating. So this new game will be revealed soon, I think, and will be coming out this year. However, what are the secret surveys for? Mike Mood's little surveys, what were they all about? Well, I don't actually think they relate to the game we're going to be getting perhaps this year. I think what uh, those surveys were based around was the game that they're making after that, which will be the sort of proper big game coming out of Kindly Beast, the first major project by that team and I think that this major project they'll be putting together will take them two to three years to make it will be much bigger it will be horror based I think due to the survey and the kind of nature of the questions being asked there and will be more like the sort of true successor to Bendy Meat Machine but perhaps even more horror based than that game was although of course I could be way off base here guys I'm just speculating with my own predictions although I do know a little bit about the process of games development and generally you wouldn't ask surveys when you're midway through a project hence I don't think the surveys relate to the game they're currently making. So that means in 2020 when there's probably not a game coming out from that team they might use Joey Drew Studios to put out a new Bendy game. So I think basically to break it down guys this year on February 10th or around that sort of time we might get an update on the Bendy book but also the secret game project they have been working on. I'm very very excited for it by the way. I cannot wait to see what that team are making next with that unique art style and way of telling stories. I'm very excited but I think that will come out then and I think it will release later this year. Then I think 
next year we'll get a bendy uh, game of some kind it probably won't be announced till late this year around maybe Halloween sort of time or even early next year but I do think we'll get another full-fledged bendy game probably end of 2020 to be honest so it's probably nearly two years off but I think we'll get one and uh, also I think the year afterwards will be the next major project from Kindly Beast the one that they're surveying for now the big one that I'm actually most excited about. However, these have just been my predictions and of course collecting all the news that we have. I hope it's been a helpful video for you guys today. I hope it's been interesting to do something a little different with news type stuff. If you want to see me do more of these news type videos where we talk about what's going on in certain communities like Five Nights at Freddy's, Dark Deception, Baldi's Basics, Bendy and the Ink Machine and anything of course by Kindly Beast, formerly Meatly Games, then let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to continue these type of videos. And with that said guys, thanks for watching today. I hope you have a great day. I will see you guys on the next video.